Welcome back. And uh, we're shifting our attention from security. This time we're going to be focusing in the crosshairs, INEC's performance. INEC, uh, the star boy with the election management body, it was their responsibility to ensure the process was free, fair, credible, and transparent. Uh, they would say they delivered. Um, but then the jury is still out there. We're waiting for the report to begin to roll. A number of preliminary reports we've seen from like the Nigeria Civil Society Situation Room, which are 300 observers in 18 local government areas, has praised the process. But then has mentioned that there are certain hitches in certain areas uh, will, will have to be worked on. So joining the discussion, um, we had uh, already Daniel Akinlami, who is a uh, public affairs analyst, uh, together with Tomoshala uh, Deji, who is in Singapore, who is a political scientist. Uh, Ken Nweke is in Port Harcourt. Uh, Ken Nweke is a public affairs analyst, and great to have him join us in Port Harcourt. Right. Um, before we, if we don't have Ken, let's uh, let's go the round. Okay, there, there he is. Excellent. Right. Right. All right, Ken. So um, the, the, we, we were talking about the election um, in Edo State, and INEC is now up for review. We've, we're done with security, and INEC uh, before the election said they were going to do a number of things, and. Um, Immediately, they mentioned the Z part, which included the uploading of, um, for me, e e EC8 uh, on servers, on their server, so people could access those, those um, results online within hours after the election had happened. In fact, it happened real time. So by uh, 8 p.m. on election day, we had over 1,200 um, results already up there the, on the INEX server. So, INEC said this was what they were going to do to deal with the elephant in the room, usually for election, which is the collation. What are your thoughts with the uploading of results on an INEC um, web uh, uh, portal on election day? How did it change the game? Of course, uh, it did change the game significantly. Um, because um, uploading a unit result directly um, on the INEX uh, portal would mean that um, the collision of results at the world level, um, at the local government level, and then the state level would be very, very um, less uh, cumbersome or rancorous, so to say, because whatever that is correlated at each of these higher levels would have been correlated, you know, from, based on uh, the results uh, uploaded from the unit uh, results. I, I think that this particular technology is one technology too many that uh, INEC uh, adopted this time around, or uh, deployed this time around. Uh, I want to especially thank, uh, appreciate uh, Professor Mumud led INEC in deploying this technology because, um, assuming without considering that uh, after uploading these uh, unit results, uh, at the end of the day, uh, something happens uh, by the end of the coalition and which you cannot correlate uh, maybe what you, uh, you, can, you could find on the portal and the final results, then it, there, there will be a, an empirical evidence, you know, to make any decision. And that would also uh, uh, go beyond uh, the uh, uh, final announcement of elections, even to talk to the court, so to say. So I, I think that um, that um, was a, a very big uh, game changer for uh, what turned out in Edo State uh, on Saturday, I think that uh, INEC, you know, deploying this particular technology was everything that uh, uh, brought uh, a huge success to that election. All right, Ken. Uh, thank you for that opening remark. Uh, we we hope that you could you could steady your your shot a lot more. Uh, would appreciate that. Let, let's move let's move this conversation to Deji in Singapore. Now, Deji, uh, the conversation remains that. Uh, uh, what did the magic this time around? Uh, yes, we have all identified the people, but away from the people was deployment of um, some level of technology uh, by INEC. 
moving going forward, yes, we know that uh, there's this conversation, ongoing conversation around um, the e-voting. Uh, one could also say that uh, what we just experienced in the Doe State is some form of um, e-introduction into the voting process, and it is a welcome development. Well, it's a very welcome development because the technology that was deployed curbed electoral fraud. Now, um, a situation whereby people will go and, and twist INEC um, and the coalition officers at the world and local government level, that cannot be done anymore. So if immediately after the um, results were announced at the polling unit, and it is uploaded straight into the uh, website, whereby anybody from across the world, and I need to commend Anek for making it public. That is um, sincerity, because they can as well choose that they, they should upload it, but not make it public. So for making it public, instantly when people are uploading the result, everybody across the world can see it. So um, it curbs electoral fraud. So the, the money that the politicians would have used to bribe them, the coalition officers, the millions of Naira, then they will now be using it to provide amenities for the people. Then a situation whereby we have in past elections, whereby you see, um, all, um, we see coalition officers and um, INEC officials being um, remote controlled by mysterious phone calls, we cannot have that anymore because INEC have to announce what has been uploaded on their website. So technology did a very great um, magic in the Edo election. So, and I think that we should um, increase more on the technology aspect of it so that our elections can be more credible. We need elections in Nigeria whereby people can be happy to go out and vote. Um, voter apathy will decline when people know that their vote will count. Um, the participation in the electoral process, uh, even even performance of government, will be would increase when they know that there is reduction in electoral fraud. So I think um, we should improve more on the technology. I look forward to a Nigeria whereby people can vote um, at the comfort of their homes. I look forward to that. It will be good, it will be remarkable. So if people can vote in the comfort of their homes, definitely it will also reduce violence in election because when people don't come out and they can vote, you don't have anybody to attack. Everybody is under his roof, you know, um, pressing his or a keypad to um, express his or a franchise. So I look forward to um, more Technology. The world right. is a global state now. All right. Thank, so, thank you very much, uh, uh, Deji. Let, let's go. Let's go, get to Daniel Akinlami. And Daniel Akinlami is a public affairs analyst. Interestingly, also da Daniel Akinlami has some political experience. So, uh, having gone through a process before, you know, as um, uh, someone vying for office, and then also to having looked at it as an observer and now as an analyst. Uh, you can speak and tell us what you think about INEX uh, performance um, in the election. What ticked for it, we've mentioned already, the Z-pad uh, through the uploading of uh, the elect election result of the polling unit to the INEC portal, to something also which is of great uh, concern to people. So um, the, um, the card reader, we've seen some reports which suggest there a lot of failure. Now, we don't know the percentages, whether it's uh, back to the lows of the 20... 19 general election, uh, which was between 19 and 20 percent in terms of success rate. What are your thoughts in terms of um, how the card readers have continually failed at the polling units in uh, percentages that leaves cause for great concern? Daniel, okay, let me please kindly unmute your device so we can hear you. 
Please go ahead. Daniel, if you're there, please um, unmute and, and Can I go ahead? Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, the challenge that INEC has been facing has been obvious uh, for the past few elections, despite their resolve to make sure that the elections count. And also, we should remember that the card reader uh, that we are talking about presently is not yet legally backed by the law. So all these challenges here and there are the things that INEC has been struggling with. Yes. The efficiency of the carrier in this Edo election uh, is not yet uh, there as expected. All right, sorry about that. Um, when power strikes, then there's oh, nothing yes. you can do about uh, yes. But uh, we'll get back to Daniel Akin Lamy and uh, we'll look more at um, INEX um, performance. Mm. Um, but let's get back to Ken. Ken Weke. Ken Weke is in Port Harcourt and he joins us still to talk about INEC performance. Right, so Ken, so we're going yes, through the checklist and uh, looking at what worked and what did not work. Um, in your, in, we, we've talked about what worked already. What did not work for you uh, with INEC if you compare and contrast with previous electoral exercises and you think um, deserves some, some talk about? Well, uh, the complaint of um the malfunctioning of card reader. Uh, uh, well, th that's one uh, issue that uh, must be uh, uh, talked about. I do not know why, you know, even after 2015, uh, that card readers uh, were used. Uh, still, even 2019 and uh, after, we are still talking about. Uh, uh, card readers malfunctioning and all that. And I think that that is where INEC, you know, has to uh, look uh, deeply uh, to correct it. Because um, uh, it's, it's either that the, the batteries that are not uh, working well, or what, what was the issue and all that. So if the present card readers that we have um, have uh, outlived their usefulness and all that, or their lifespan, then uh, we should as well uh, get a better, you know, uh, more sustainable card reader. You know, and I think that that is uh, uh, one area that INEC must uh, uh, continue to look at. Or would that also mean that uh, it was network issues? And so INEC has to look at uh, that critically to ensure that, um, you know, it improves on the lots of elections in Nigeria. Um, for me, uh, INEC is always uh, on the path of improving the loss of elections in Nigeria. I, I want to commend uh, each uh, leadership of INEC, even starting from 2011, 20, uh, up to 2015, 19, and beyond. You know, INEC has always fine tuned our electoral process. But again, uh, this uh, improved guideline that INEC uh, initiated uh, by deploying this kind of technology of uploading unit results. All of these should be integrated into uh, the Electoral Act in such a manner that uh, tomorrow, you know, uh, no court Ken, with Ken. Uh, throughout. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, um, Ken, uh, the last statement you made that um, INEC had we've seen some uh, innovations uh, over the years um, remains debatable because some, 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 some quarters will tell you that um, the 2019 election was a far cry from what was experienced in 2015. Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, we'll come back to you, Ken. You still have your thoughts um, uh, intact. We'll take a break. When we come back, uh, you wrap up your conversation. My country people, on our way done, oh, make on a con yell. All of us are no waiting the shell for this we 